been set by United for Social Justice and the Utah Minimum Project. So we'll give each person two and a half minutes to respond. Okay, I'll try to make it quick. Um, basically, all of the problems that Eli mentioned would be solved through legalization. We are against exploitation, slavery, abuse of human rights, all these things. And I, one thing I really appreciate, appreciate about Mike is that that's the central issue to him, and I can tell that that's the central issue to him. He's really concerned about the exploitation and slavery, and, and that's our concern as well. But again, the way to solve it is through legalization, not deportation. Those who support big business, or what big business wants, is to maintain the status quo, where people have no rights, their labor is cheap, they have no way to, again, to have any redress if their employers exploit them, etc., or if they're in a slavery-like condition. That's what big business wants is the status quo. What we want is legalization. Uh, secondly, with the cartels, all of the money that they get by smuggling and all, doing all these different things would also dry up with legalization. Before 1986, when the border was militarized, immigrants, especially from Mexico, but also Central America, they used to come and go. They come here for a year, or just a season, for the growing season. Their families are back in Mexico or elsewhere, they come for a while and they go home. Once you start militarizing the border, once they come here, they basically have to stay, because if they ever do go back, it's so dangerous and difficult to get across the border again, they won't be able to. So again, the way to eliminate the exploitation, eliminate the cartels, is to legalize. Secondly, in regards to terrorism, if you're worried about terrorism, you need to end the causes of terrorism, which are the legitimate grievances of people in the Middle East, which are the United States military and its allies, for example, Israel, occupying uh, countries in the Middle East, and or supporting corrupt dictators, as we see uh, the United States has been supporting the Egyptian dictatorship for the last 30 years. If you end the legitimate grievances of Muslims in the Middle East, you will end terrorism. There's no way to prevent that by trying to secure the borders. Can you ever, you know, you have to build a wall all the way across the Canadian border. Then, you know, people could come in still or bring weapons in through ports. Uh, all of the 9-11 hijackers came here with legitimate visas. There's no connection between undocumented workers and terrorism at all. And I'm sick of that, that lie being used.
Can they gather this money together? Now, this can be in any country, like I was going to talk about. It's not just Mexico. 15 seconds. What they don't tell you is that, that this uh, exploitation of money, when you get to a drop house here in the United States, here in Utah, here in Salt Lake City, that they're exploited for more money. Two quick things. 